Hello YouTube, uh, my name is Sean Connors and today's DMs Tips program is, uh, I suppose should come with a discretionary warning really actually. We have to always remember with tips and uh, advice that not everything that someone's going to give you as a tip or a piece of advice is going to be something that's going to be of use to you personally. Your hope when you do these videos I think is that most people are going to like them but there will always be somebody where the advice isn't right. So if that's you you know, fine, no problem, but there'll be plenty of other people who might like it. So today's DM's Tips program is called Invisible Monkeys. Now you might be thinking, oh my god, Sean's lost it, that's it, it's over, the guy's about to throw himself out the window. Um, before you get too carried away, let me try and explain. Now you might not be able to see this, I don't know, I'm going to try and bring them in as close as I can to the camera, but there's quite a few actually monkeys here all over actually here and uh, these monkeys uh, vary in size from quite small rhesus monkeys to big time gorillas what are they well effectively their their problems is everyday life isn't it we've all got them you know whether it's that gas bill which isn't a major problem so it's a tiny little rhesus monkey to your girlfriend who is in the pardon the pun um really having a crack at you maybe that's one of the bigger monkeys See, these monkeys are problems that everybody brings into a game. Your players do, you do, we all do it. Yeah, We do it subconsciously a lot of the time. Now, clearly I'm using the Alan, uh, analogy of monkeys because each of them, and hopefully now you can see them, vary in size depending on how many we've got. And it's very easy as a DM or as a player, and it's important to understand both sets of people, you're carrying these into the game with you. So how do you remove some of those monkeys? How do you get rid of some of those problems? I have, you know, different techniques myself that I use. But one thing you can do as a DM is obviously have a very good preamble to your game. So have a 20 minute spell maybe at the beginning of the game where it's just talking crap and having a bit of a laugh. A ritual that allows people that chance to unwind, get away from real life problems. You know, so as you start chatting and having a joke with them, how's it going? One of those monkeys, that gas bill, drops off. The problems that they've been having at home with that girlfriend drops off. Another thing you can do as a DM is unload some of your problems. It's a bit like delegating some of your problems to your friends. Not by telling them all about what's going wrong in your life, but actually by just taking some of the pressure off you when you're about to DM. So, yeah, get a guy to run the initiative system for you. Get someone, if you feel is important, who's going to be the rules lawyer for that game. You know, if you need to check something up, hey, Bob's going to be the, the rules guy today. That's unloading. That's the art of good delegation. But the preamble to the game is critical to remove the unseen baggage that we all have. Anyway, this has been uh, Outsiders. I'm Sean Connors. I've hoped you've enjoyed Invisible Monkeys. Till the next time, take care of yourselves. Happy gaming.